take out of it. God does it so that men will fear before him. And the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Today we have heard in the Psalm 133 verses 1 to 3, except there is new unity, blessings cannot flow down. This is the time for Nigeria to come together, for us to be renewed in our hope again. To hope in Nigeria, young children have sung here today. They are expecting the best for Nigeria. Nigeria's wealth is the common wealth of all. It belongs to everyone. God has blessed my family. We don't need the wealth of Nigeria to survive, but to do the right thing. And I promise you on this altar that with your help, with the help of God, we will set this nation on the right path. We need your prayers. We need your prayers. I can tell you, I for one am a silent worker. I'm not a noisemaker, but I listen and I hear. It's not out of pride, but it's about what the journey has melted on us. We've been bruised. Our body's not like the same again. But once the spirit is strong, the Bible said, if the spirit is there, it will sustain your infirmity. But when the spirit is gone, who can stand? But the spirit of God is in us. We will do the right thing by the grace of God. We need your prayers. We need your prayers. We need the prayers of the church. We need the mosque. We need everybody to pray to that one God who we just read in Ephesians that is one God of all. Is not a God for is a God of all flesh. Is sovereign and he sits in heaven. He does as he pleases. And in conclusion, I think I will end with that last verse of Ephesians 4 verse 6 is one God father of all who is above all and through all and in all in you all is in every of his creation and we want to thank you all for coming out today thank our fathers of faith and our mothers of faith God bless you God will continually renew your strength Hello and welcome to the channel. That was wife of the president. Safe to call him the president now. Pastor Holuremi Tinubu at the presidential inauguration church service telling Nigerians basically that they, Tinubu and herself, are here to walk. They already have the money, so they are not here to amass Nigeria's wealth for themselves. Rather, they want to serve but they need the cooperation of the Nigerian people in order to achieve set objectives. Our statement about her husband's age and source of wealth as usual elicited quite the response from Nigerians though, who wasted no time in voicing their opinions on how the Tinubus got this wealth. We will get some of those comments to see what Nigerians really think about President Asiwaju really being 71 as well as a source of income. Your family is blessed with the commonwealth and resources of Lagos states. Remy and Sheyi is your next president. Tinubu will just be there as figurehead. Man is going on bed rest. El ho hell. That is from Wealth World underscore one. Babatope says we are waiting for the court verdict first. Pato official, she said she will do the right thing in the altar of God, but when I stole someone mandate, please my people, is that right? Swagger group says, Christianity a joke in Nigeria now. Only God knows I can't sit and listen to this mess. Everyone there looks like a clown. Quote me wrong, because God's way is the right way. You can't rob people and ridicule them with the Bible. Mr. Dio says she talks well. 
Balajo B. Adebola says, God bless my new first lady, Pastor Mrs. Oluremi Tinubu. Amazing Grace says, you don't need Nigerians' money, same way we don't need you to rule Nigeria. Liberate Nigeria says, we finally have a first lady we can all be proud of. Mla74 says, after listening to her, I am more assured that I voted right and Baba Ahmed Tinubu will do right by Nigeria and Nigerians. Prince Oyim says, Super Story Season 1. Mingling Sin said, I thought she is a Muslim. How come she is quoting the Bible? Ima Imafidan says, Believe this and you will believe anything. This is pure BS. Dreams underscore her says, Buhari tells us this story before. We don't want another story again. That church should speak the truth and it will set us free. You cannot build lies and think everything will be okay. The right thing is for the winner to rule Nigeria, not a rubber stamp. Kingsley underscore high C says, after a very violent and unfair rigged election sponsored by your husband and his people, no remorse for those that lost their lives, no responsibility taken for any of your flaws in the process with high neck, and you are here to quote the Bible and blind majority of Christians in the name of faith. You APC people disgust me. The only true sign of nobility is to take responsibility. Everything else is rubbish and a big insult to God. Alfred Beschel, on the score inspired, simply says, lies. Lily Shinelo says, Madam, with all due respect, please tell your husband Peter Hobby is who we know. I am bright on the score hand says, I hate when people are calling God on Nigeria together. <laughs> For your information, God is angry <laughs> with Nigeria. Kino.10 says, But your husband used drug money to become Lagos governor and afterwards established Alpha Beta to loot Lagos revenues. I am Bada and says, How did your family make money? Tell us. Official underscore I am Cross says, I like the way she spoke. I pray Una change this country well so Una no go be like this stupid past president, the hard going, never to return to our lives again. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.